The air we breathe is a mixture of gases and particles. Most are essential for life. However, some trace gases can be harmful to health, even in small doses. In this chapter, you will learn about the components of the air you breathe, how they got there, how they can be removed, and how they can impact human health, for better or for worse. Have you thought about the air you breathe every day, every night, the air we share, all of us on the planet, not just those of us in the room? We hope that we breathe clean air every day and all day long and all night, but sometimes it's just not under our control. Have you thought about exactly what the components are in the air we breathe? And what are the components that are dangerous? Those are called air pollutants. What are those air pollutants and how did they get there? We'll be looking at the different sources where you can look for the air pollutants that is impacting almost every region on the planet every day is wildfire smokes. Particulate matter from wildfires is a special category of air pollution that is particularly dangerous to human health. And so I'll show you how you can monitor particulate matter in the air you breathe. Um, because you want to know if the air is safe to breathe on any given day. Now, one place you can look online is a website called purpleair.com. Every one of us leaves an impact on the air. All 7 billion humans on the planet, we share this air, but we also can make a positive impact or a negative impact on the air. Just as your daily activities, when you're walking, let's say on the sand, you leave footprints in the sand. Uh, if your daily activities also leave an air print, an imprint on the air, well, you can't see those like you can see a footprint. For instance, if you drove here, you used a car, well, a car takes in air and uses the oxygen from the air and releases in the exhaust carbon dioxide and also some air pollutants. So driving a standard combustion engine car leads to air pollution. On the flip side, if you plant a tree, uh, you are contributing to better air because plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, from the air, and release oxygen. Several types of plants also take in air pollutants and clean the air of air pollutants. Your activities ha can have a direct impact on air pollution, either helping it or hurting it. You breathe in oxygen. You breathe in air and other things, and we're going to get into exactly what the composition of air is, but you take in oxygen. You take in air to the tune of about 3,000 gallons per day, and then you exhale. And in your mixture of gases that you exhale, there's a lower concentration of oxygen and a higher concentration of carbon dioxide. But in and out every single day is 3,000 gallons per day of air. That 3,000 gallons per day of air coming in and going out, we hope that the majority of that is clean air. How can we know if the air you're breathing on, on a day-to-day -day basis, how can we know if it's clean air? Well, this is one way, is this is the newspaper, the LA Times, and there's a section in the LA Times that is called the California section. This is local news and also sports, local sports, regional sports, and weather. And the weather includes what temperature it's going to be. So sometimes you might use the weather to decide how to plan your day. Are you going to wear shorts? Are you going to bring an umbrella? Um, and then what is included in the weather is an air quality report, which is all as important, if not more important than the temperature um, and weather, is the air quality. Are you going to be outside for most of the day? Well, what's that air that you're going to be breathing outdoors going to be like? Well, that is indicated on this section uh, that is next to the weather section. And I'll show you some other sources online that you can find the air quality for the day. 